Hi everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Um, today we are going to be making a pair of earrings. So you are going to need your fire line, your handy dandy tools, you're going to need jump rings, ear wires, um, some beads, and some seed beads. So the beads I'm using are little square beads. Um, and then the seed beads I'm using are 10 aught seed beads. And we're gonna start this video in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we're going to be making some beaded earrings. So, <clears throat> we're going to start by taking some of our line. Now, I'm using fire line and I buy it in large quantities. <laughs> but I do a lot of bead work. So, I'm using fire line. It's six pound test. Okay. And I'm going to grab about two feet of it. more than two feet but okay put that to the side now I'm gonna grab my beading needle and I'm gonna try very hard to stay in the frame but I am working around a camera so now this fire line I'm using it's a braided line and so sometimes you've got to pinch it between your nails and kind of straighten it out. Okay, so I'm just, I'm not making the two ends meet, I'm just leaving it like this. Okay, <clears throat> so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my beads, one of my seed beads, I'm gonna put them right there. I hope that's in frame. Okay, a seed bead another bead, a seed bead, another bead, seed bead, okay, another bead, and then a seed bead. We're going to take this down and we're going to leave about five inches at the end of a tail and we're going to go back through the bead like this okay so it's going to form this little circle well square because they're square beads ha <laughs> ha okay we're going to go into that seed bead and i'm holding the tail in my hand in my fingers here so that it doesn't unravel now we're going to pick up three seed beads, one, two, three, and we're going to go back through that seed bead, okay, there we go, so you see what we've made there, and there we go. We're going to pass through the big bead now and go through that seed bead there. Okay. We're going to pick up three more seed beads. We're going to go through that seed bead from the other side, not from where we're exiting. Okay. Oh, I hope I'm in frame. Okay, and there. Now we're gonna go through that big bead and through that seed bead. Okay. And I'm always pulling it tight. Now we are going to pick up three seed beads 
and go through the opposite side of the C bead, so not where we're exiting. Okay. And then we are, just so we're going the same way we've been going, I'm gonna go through the big bead and through that seed bead. Okay, and now we're gonna pick up three seed beads. One, two, three, and go the opposite. Opposite. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. See that? Okay, so now our working thread is coming out. Oh, geez, sorry. Working thread is coming out that seed bead on the bottom there. So we're gonna go up through this seed bead and up through this seed bead. And we're gonna make our next level. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Okay, so our next level, we're gonna pick up a big bead and then a seed bead, a big bead and a seed bead, a big bead, okay. And then we're gonna pick up a seed bead, a big bead, and then we're gonna go back through that initial seed bead that we had gone through. Okay, so there we go. Now we're coming out right here. So we're gonna go up through the big bead and the seed bead and we're gonna do just like we did on the other level. We're gonna grab three seed beads, go through the opposite side of this seed bead and through the big bead and through the seed bead on the other side if we can do it in one pass. I can't, so we'll just go through the seed bead. <coughs> go. Now we'll go through that big bead and through the seed bead to get to where we want to work. Whoopsies. And then we will pick up, first let's get the ones that are the wrong color out of the way. Deal with those later. Get some more red. Okay. So I'm picking up three seed beads, one, two, three, going in the opposite way of that seed bead that we're exiting from, okay, and then we're going to go through the big bead and through that seed bead get to where we need to be to make our next little portion. Okay, and we're gonna grab. Sometimes it's easier just to pick them up. There we go. And then we're gonna go through this. Okay. Now we need to get back up here to continue. So we're just gonna go through the beads on the inner circle or square or whatever you wanna call this. So see, I went through the seed bead. I'm coming out the seed bead. I'm going through this bottom seed bead. Okay. 
and then I'm going through the big bead, bottom seed bead here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go through this seed bead and that seed bead to get to where I wanna work again. Okay, and then we're gonna pick up a big bead, a seed bead, a big bead, a seed bead, oops, near you, a big bead, a seed bead, oops, come here you, and a big bead, we're gonna go in the opposite way that our working thread, okay, and then we're gonna go into that big bead, and in that seed bead to start making our little I don't know if what you want to call that our little flowerette or whatever there. And we're gonna do the same thing. So you do that around like we did the last round and actually no, I'm gonna take you through it because at the top here we're gonna do something. No, we're not. Okay, so <laughs> yes, I'm making this up as I go. So just do the same as I did for the last round and then meet me back. Okay, so now we're gonna just go through all the center beads um, on the bottom level here. Just we're gonna go through a couple of times and then we're gonna start knotting. Okay, so just those center ones. We're not going around the outside beads. And it's just to firm it up and you wanna pull tight It'll still have nice movement, but it'll tighten it up so that it maintains its shape better. Okay, so this is my second time round. Now I'm gonna start doing knots. Okay, so here's what you need to know for knots. Okay, before a big bead. So I just am exiting out of my little bead. Hope you saw that. I'm exiting out of my little bead. I'm going to go in here, right beside the large bead, I'm making a loop. Can you see my loop? Okay. I'm gonna go through my loop with my needle and thread twice. Make sure that loop stays right next to the big bead, okay? And you're gonna pull that tight. Then you're gonna go in that big bead around to the little bead, go through the little bead. And you're gonna do another big knot. So you're going in to the center space there, but keep it by your big bead. Make a loop, go through your loop twice with your needle and thread. <coughs> Keeping that loop right snug up to the big bead, you are gonna Pull it tight, okay? And then you are going to go through the big bead, go through the little bead, go through the, the middle, because I'm gonna do another knot. I usually try and do two or three or four or five or six knots. The more knots, the better. Okay, so. Through the loop twice, keep it snug up to that big bead, pull tight, go through the big bead and through the little bead. We'll do one more knot and then we should be back where we started. Okay, so into that main loop or that space in the center. Make a loop. Go through the loop twice with your needle and thread. Snuggle that loop right up to the big bead. Pull tight. Don't pull so tight that you break your, your thread. 
go through the big bead and through the little bead and we're back where we started okay you never cut where you knot but we're not knotting here we're just gonna cut okay so now I'm gonna keep what I have left I have quite a bit left for thread so I'm gonna use that to do my other earring now we have our tail so we need this tail to go up to the top. So thread your needle. Okay. Thread your needle. Now, my tail is exiting from this bead right here. It's coming out this side. So I'm gonna go up the big bead and through the seed bead. Okay. And then I'm gonna go up this big bead and through this seed bead. Okay, and then I'm gonna go up this bead through the top bead. And now I am gonna pick up six red seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, and six. My beads are mixed up because they've been moved one too many times. So I'm gonna go through that top bead that I'm exiting from in the opposite direction and see here I've made a loop. I'm gonna go through all six of those beads twice just to give it extra security, okay? Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going through all six beads and that first one that we started from, and I'm doing this twice, okay? Uh, sorry, I'm working around the camera. It makes it hard. Okay, so that's twice. Now, I'm gonna follow my beading path or my thread path back to the central beads of my design. Okay, so in here, sorry, in here, and then I'm back down to that center bead. And just like last time, when we get to a big bead, we go from the center, make a loop, do knots, three knots. Do that and meet me back. Like before, and I went all the way around my center beads and did all my knots. And like I always say, you don't cut where you knot. So after you've gone through, you cut. <clears throat> now, here's what you got. Oh. You've got to get your pliers. Um, we'll use these and we'll use these. And I'm using my um, jump rings aren't labeled, but I usually go about second smallest. Um, I don't know. what they are so so you take your jump ring you always open your jump rings sideways never open them out okay there we go we're putting it through the earring and through my ear wire close that puppy up by twisting it back and then whoops that <laughs> twisting it back sorry there we go twisting it back there we go and then I always give it a little pinch just to be sure it's absolutely closed 
and then I give it a pinch up and down to make sure it's nice and closed. I'm doing this around a camera, so it's not working overly well, but there we go. Close that way and close that way. A few extra pinches and there you go. You have your one earring. Now, do all that again. <laughs> So I hope you liked the video. Hit the like and subscribe. And if you want notifications of when I have a new video being posted, hit the little bell. I try and make new videos for every Tuesday, but it's really been hit and miss. I've had a very busy year and I have a second channel. So I was working on that channel quite a bit, but I'm gonna get back to this channel and making all kinds of neat tutorials and collection videos for you. So there you go. Isn't that nice? Thanks for watching. Have a great day.